it's time for our first guest. Please welcome our good friend from the Boston Comedy Festival, Jim McHugh. Welcome back, Jim. Thank you. Thank you for having me, man. Th thanks for having these guys again. They're I know, great. they're amazing. How about yeah. the house band, everybody? Oh, yeah. Wow. Now, Jim, we wanted to bring you on uh, on our 175th episode because, of course, there's another Boston Comedy Festival coming. Why don't you tell the people at home what are the dates? The dates are November 8 through 16. So don't miss it. Boston Comedy Festival, 120 comedians, 30 shows. Mm -hmm. It's madness. It's, it's like fun. what he does all in one night. We spread that out over a whole week. Yeah. Yeah. Getting people angry? Is that what it's like? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, sure. <laughs> now, you know, um, you do a lot of traveling for comedy, but you had mentioned to me we are on in the U.K. We just got renewed in the U.K., and you were going to be performing in Ireland? I'm going to be in Ireland, in yeah. Dublin, Ireland. If you're there, uh, come see me at uh, the Laughter Lounge, which mm -hmm. is great. It's a 400-seat venue, and uh, the back 100 people uh, drink uh, two beers at once. And they go, oh, you're not right here. Rah, rah, rah. I love the way you take the piss out of fellas, Jimmy. And I don't know what that means. But yeah. <laughs> I think it's a compliment. Yeah. My, my brother lived in Ireland for a while. He was very tall, uh, taller than the locals there, and they gave him a nickname because everybody in Ireland has a nickname. He was Johnny the Greek. So when he would walk the, the streets, they go, oh, there goes Johnny the Greek. There goes Johnny the Greek. Uh, and there's his brother, Stephen, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has a nickname. They didn't like my accent jokes, I guess. So, so good luck over there. Yes. But you're in McHugh anyway, so you've got yeah, family can, there or I what? Yeah, I can blend. I can blend. <laughs> as long as there's no sunshine, we all just stay in the yeah. pubs. Now, what, uh, what cruise lines are you working on? I know you're doing a lot of cruise Oh, stuff. yeah, I'm glad to be back on dry land. I, uh... Too many cruises. Yeah. I, uh, you know, here's my problem with cruise ships. Uh, it's karaoke. Too much karaoke. Mm -hmm. Cruise ship karaoke is the reason that whales beach themselves. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not good. Yeah, well. <laughs> What's been your favorite experience on a cruise ship? Uh, usually getting off. Yeah. <laughs> I like, you know what, I like to do things a little, I like to go snorkeling, uh, which most people, you know, in, in the sounds and the fish, but then I like to go, you know, once in a while you go snor snorkeling, you have a smoker, and then it's like, <laughs> I always think it's so cruel to the fish, they're so beautiful, and we're just like these big, fat, hairy, pale things floating over them, and it's brutal. Yeah. But no, I love, what's not to love? You, you're floating on a buffet, you know what I mean? It's, <laughs> what's, what's not to like about that experience, you know? Now you, you're actually good friends with uh, Manny. Uh, I know him as Webster, Emmanuel Oh, yeah, Lewis, yeah, yeah, yeah. Manuel and he came Lewis? down to the Boston uh, Comedy Festival last year. How do you know? I mean, you're very oh, tall. Yeah, me, He's a little bit shorter. Yeah, me, me, me and Manny did a comedy team thing uh, in uh, Montreal. And uh, we just stayed friends ever since. Because he doesn't really do comedy. Mm -hmm. he's, a, he's an actor. Yeah. And uh, we hit it off. We're working on a couple projects. He, he comes back. He came out. If, if you haven't been to the Boston County Festival, at the end, we give away $10,000 in prize money to the big winner. And I, Manny says, I want to fly out and see it. So uh, if you don't know Manny Lewis, he played Webster. He's about this tall. I said, Manny, I got a job for you. So he's sitting over there, and I, he, I give him the big giant check. <laughs> <laughs> so the guy wins. I go, hey, uh, let's get the check out here. And all you see is these two little knuckles. <laughs> And then when he gave it to him, everybody went, ah. <laughs> It's Webster! It's Webster! <laughs> now, is he going to come back this year for the film? Yeah, I just, I've, I'm already blackmailing him. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got a lot of, we got a Judah Freelander from 30 Rock is coming back. Oh, cool. We got uh, Kevin Meany, who's amazing, is coming back. Mm -hmm. And uh, other people. Yeah, you, you've done comedy for a long time. Yes. Have you experienced Since getting... the 1900s. Yeah. <laughs> Have you experienced getting on stage with one of the legends or one of your idols in comedy? Absolutely. Well, for me, uh, we, we do we'll do Lifetime Achievement Awards every year. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, I've been on with, uh, uh, you know, working, opening for many people. Mm -hmm. uh, Jerry Seinfeld, Louis oh. Black, uh, Gary Shandling, mm -hmm. Chris Rock. Uh, so lots of people that uh, they get all the money. And I'm told, don't stay in the room with him. Yeah. Or talk <laughs> <to> him. <laughs> don't touch Mr. Seinfeld's food, that kind of thing. Yeah. So I feel close to him. Uh, 
<laughs> the Boston, the Boston. Who are these people that touch my food? <laughs> you know, you told me you also ran into Jay Leno one of these nights. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, uh, I worked at Comedy Magic Club, and for those of you who don't get out, if you get out to, it's one of the best clubs in the country. And every Sunday is Jay Leno night, and the uh, the owner there, uh, Mike Lacey. Uh, says, hey, you're from Boston. You got to meet Jay. So he's like, hey, hey, you're from Boston. I'm from Boston. Yeah, we're kicks. You know, so that's cool. Yeah. And uh, yeah. does he get his own room or something? I mean, no, he doesn't. He goes back there. We all eat around a little, you know, little ta uh, living room table, mm -hmm. and the, they got the green room, and uh, he's great. Couldn't be nicer. Yeah. He, is it true he's a workaholic and he works all the time? He does. Well, that's yeah. why he's there. He's there on Sunday. He's working out new stuff. He's got about three by five carts. Yeah. So he's preparing for that Monday with yeah. his. Uh, you know, monologues. I wonder how he would do if he was editing his own show. <laughs> <laughs> Violinist? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you had to let her go, I see. <laughs> no, she Never quit. Never the budget. <laughs> that was a, that was a, uh, before we go... He said to fire a violinist, they just walk off into the... <laughs> before I we can't, go... No, is this true you're going? What's this all about? You're, this... But I didn't say we were going. It, it said, I told everyone season four is ending. We're taking a break. That's a break. What is that? That's what, the, that's what a girl says when she says, "We're just going to be a break. We're just going. Are you just going to be friends with the public now? <laughs> what the hell does that mean? Yeah, I don't know. You can't. You have an army of the best volunteers in the world. I can't oh, tell you. Oh, it's here for you. will never amass this army again. And, and I, I, as, a, as a guy who runs the Boston Comedy Festival, I mean, you've given breaks to how many comedians? So many comedians have come on here, and they got a great tape and an opportunity to be seen in places uh, that... A lot of them end that, up uh, leaving here not liking us, though. That's... Well, they, don't, they probably don't like you when they come in. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now they dislike me more. But now yeah. they're on TV in places that probably aren't safe for them to go to in person. And that's, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. I, I often wondered that. Uh, uh, the people that have done comedy for a very long time, how, how does it feel to you guys knowing that you can come to a little studio in Arlington and now you're hitting 15 countries? I love it. I love it. There's people all over the world right now going, Jim McHugh, not funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. where I usually get that in person around here. It's yeah. much nicer to have yeah. that. Well, you don't want to know what they're saying about me. That's for sure. Yeah. They love you. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Hey. A legend. A legend. <laughs> we're going to talk. We're going to get them back on. We're going to get this. We're going to put the key. We need a vacation. Break. Let's tell everyone where they go online to find out about the Boston Comedy Festival. BostonComedyFestival.com. Who would have thought of that, right? Yeah. Go to BostonComedyFestival.com. If you want to see Jim McHugh, comedian, JimMcHugh.com. Now, if people want to apply to the festival, can they still do that? Yes. They go to the website, BostonComedyFestival.com. They click on Submit, and they fill out the forms. And then we own everything they ever do for the rest of their life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, always read the fine print. That's yeah. what I always say. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Jim McHugh. Thank you, sir. Yeah. It was a pleasure having you here. Yeah. All right, we'll be right back. Right after this.